And we are joined now by eyewitness Christopher Ramos. He's live from Aurora this morning. And Christopher, I know you were inside the theater when this all went down. Tell us what happened. Well, so first we were just watching the movie. Um, super excited for this movie to come out. A big Batman fan. Um, so first we were just watching the movie, then out of nowhere, from the front screen, like on the right side of the theater, like on the exit, the door opens up and then we see something flying out like towards the crowd. First we thought it was part of the movie, you know, to pump everyone up for the new Batman movie. Oh um, smoke was up in the air and we thought it was like, okay, it was probably something like a bat. But then next you notice it explodes. And then from there we hear like two like big loud bam, bam, like fireworks. We thought it was part of the movie or probably someone doing a prank. But then from there, I see a guy right next to me, a gentleman like sitting right next to me getting shot. And then that's when I realized that this is not like part of the movie. There's a gunman and he's shooting everyone. Sitting right next to you. I immediately, immediately just jumped down and I'm just on the bottom, I like hiding from um, like underneath the chairs. And this guy just starts shooting everywhere. And it's shooting like crazy directions, like in front of people, like from all, all the way up high. And I just grabbed my sister and we're like hiding underneath like the chairs, covering ourselves. And then like the smoke like gives, like tear gas was like all everywhere, making it hard to breathe and even crying. It was a horrific scene. Like uh, about how long? I saw like blood everywhere. And then there was people getting hit. Uh, like I was trying to crawl away. And honestly, for the record, there was only one guy. There was only one guy, only one guy like, right there by the side of the door. That's, um, you really had presence of mind to be able to tell what was going on right there. Do you have a sense of how long the shooting actually went on from the moment that first canister exploded? Yes, actually, the shooting probably started, like, lasted probably for, like, about a minute or two. That's how probably, like, realistically, that's how it lasted. But for the people that were in there, it felt like it was a lot longer than that. For, like, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it well, was... Um, I can imagine a minute of shooting minutes, is going to feel like a lifetime. And you were surrounded then when the shooting stopped by victims on either side of you. Tell us what you did next. Um, I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? I was just saying you that. were surrounded by the victims, as you said. Tell us what you did next when you saw the victims. All right, well, as soon as the guy got shot, um, I just got scared. Then I just jumped down. Uh, I froze up, I honestly did not know what the hell to do. Um, I grabbed my sister, that was like the first instinct. She was like right next to me, and I was telling her to like, go forward, go forward, like go to the stairs. Um, but there was like people like, like as soon as we got to the stairs part, I just started looking over towards the chair, and the gunman was just standing right by the chair, or by the exit of the right door, on the right side, and he was just still shooting. Um, from there, I got separated from my sister. I was trying to move forward, trying to get her. People were running everywhere, running on top of me, like kicking me, like just jumping over me. And there was bodies on the ground and they were completely like not even paying attention for it because everyone was just so busy trying to like escape and like avoid the gunman. He shot easily like 60 or 70 rounds. Um, it was unbelievable. And honestly, there's okay. nothing I can say for the, like, the viewers that are watching this, that will like, make them understand what me and also my sister and what everyone else in there went through. Well, it was thanks. a horrific scene. No emotions can explain it. And honestly, there's nothing I can say at all for you guys to understand like what we went through. Well, I can imagine that, I froze up. But I was scared. You were scared. I, honestly, I honestly thought I was going to die. And what what a great like this movie came out and I was super excited to see it and what a great night it was supposed to be it turned into something horrific I've honestly never seen blood from another human I never saw dead bodies or just bodies period covered in blood I've never seen that before and normally what people see like this in this situation I've seen this on TV seeing like oh shooting in a mall or shooting in a bookstore I see it but I actually don't feel it. And honestly, it's probably the same thing happening right now to the viewers right now. They see it, but they don't feel it. But honestly, me and everyone else in there are feeling it. The image in her head is stuck in there. And I still have the ticket right here. The ticket right here. And honestly, I'm never going to forget this night at all. Because it was the first time I saw something 
that was real, like a real life nightmare that was there, not dreaming of. Chris, we, we, and we know we can tell. To the people, the victims that were there in that theater with me, just just to be strong and do not let this evil person take control of us and that we're better than this. And to the families out there to just, God bless you, just be strong. And I'm really sorry for everything, for everyone out there. God bless you too, Christopher. Thank you for sharing that story. We hope you get some help.